Having bought a Peugeot 106 with a huge oil leak down the back of the engine block, it was later found that the oil was coming from the cylinder head. Someone in the past had snapped a lug away and attempted a repair with RTV sealant, which didn't work. I will now try using JB Weld and a drill bit. My plan was clean with Dremel, using wire brush, drill a hole through the broken lug, key the surfaces with a round burr bit and bridge the lug using a drill bit. See, this is quite a large chunk that's been snapped away from the cylinder head. So my first job is going to be use the Dremel and a wire brush and clean all the surface up. These are the stainless steel um, cut brushes by Dremel and they seem to last actually quite well. I think they're about £7.50 a pair. So that's looking pretty clean now. Looks like we're back to base metal. And then do the same again on the lug. Make sure you wear protective breathing apparatus. You know, a mask at the least. Quite a lot of powder was coming off that. I used soft jaws in the vise, just so I didn't add any extra damage to the lug and give me a problem with it fitting into the, the original place. So I think that's looking pretty clean now. And so on to drilling the hole in the lug. I had to take this very easy because the drill bit was trying to wander. I had to take my time on that. Just let the drill bit work its way through with plenty of lubricant. So it's a vocal lubricant that I'm using here. Um, it's not cheap, but it is supposed to double the life of the drill bits and that. And it does sit, I've used it for a few years now. It does seem to make drilling easier. So this is using a burr bit on it now to roughen all the surface up as much as possible. So hopefully that JB Weld has got something to get a good purchase into and increase that strength. It takes a while to actually do this to make sure you cover all the area. But they always say that the end product is only as good as the preparation. So it's worth spending the time on this. And then do the same again on the cylinder head. As you can see, I've put paper into the spark plug holes, the injector ports, and the inlet manifold. Um, but I will probably rinse this head down afterwards as well to make sure all of the chippings and that are gone. Certainly don't want them in the engine.
So I just blew all the little bits off with some compress there. And then tried my old drill bit. Not sure why I came to the idea of a drill bit. Um, but it seems to work. It's Presumably a drill bit is strong, so that's hopefully that will work. So I cleaned it all down, degreased it, ready for that JB Weld. So you mix it in a ratio of one to one, so equal parts hardener to the adhesive. And according to JB Weld, once it's cured, which is about 24 hours, it should better withstand temperatures of 287 degrees centigrade. So that's pretty hot. And I understand a normal cylinder head gets to about 100 degrees centigrade. So JB Weld should be able to easily cope with this. So I did put a thin smear on the actual where the brake was underneath um, and then used a big clamp to compress the lug into it um, and left that clamp on there for 24 hours. Um, the hardest thing with the JB Weld was that it kept moving. Um, so I had to keep sort of moving the cylinder head backwards and forwards every half hour to an hour um, until it started to harden. Otherwise it was starting to sort of droop um, and I was going to lose it from the drill bit area. And obviously I wanted it all on that drill bit um, to make the strength. But it certainly looks good. And 24 hours later, it looked like this. So I was quite pleased with that. I think that's quite a good repair. Although you can see the drill bit. So I thought I'd actually test this to see how strong the joint was. So the cylinder head was about 19 kilograms. And I thought, well, I'll actually hoist it up on two points um, with equal distance between the two points. So that in theory should spread the load equally between the lug that I've mended and the other lug that's actually okay. And it took it okay. Up it goes. Didn't seem to have a problem at all. So I'd say, in fairness, that lug was taking nine and a half kilograms. Um, and I did actually lift it up and down several times while I was trying to get a reasonable shot. Um, so it wasn't just a one-off. And there we can see 19 kilos. So I'm quite impressed with that. Thank you for watching and hope this repair may help other home mechanics.